Number five, determine the molecular mass of the following compounds. And then we have letter A. So in this case, we have a huge compound, it seems, right, of basically just two elements, right? If I really look at this, this thing, I can basically break it down into two elements, right? I see a bunch of C's all over the place, right? And I see a bunch of H's, right? I see an H here, I have an H here, I have an H here, and an H here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to figure out what this mess is in terms of a chemical formula. I'm going to group all the similar elements together. It does not matter which element you start with. I'll start with carbon, which is C. And it seems to me that I have, let's see, I have one carbon here. This is the second carbon. I have another carbon down here. That's one. And then I have another carbon. So I have a total of four carbons. Now... Let's group together the hydrogens. So I'm going to put an H here. And now let's see. I have one hydrogen, two, three total over here. And now when I'm coming down to here, I see that I have a two here. So there are two hydrogens in this case, and there's a three over here. So for these two of them, I have two hydrogens plus three hydrogens. I have a total of five hydrogens coming from these two guys. So combined with these three, I have five, six, seven, eight total hydrogens. So I have H8. Now for organic, right? Basically, this is an organic compound. This is butene. So if we get to organic, if you guys have to get to organic, let me know in the comments, because I love organic chemistry. So if you guys have to take it, hopefully I'll have videos for you guys in the future. But let's focus on Gen Chem for now, right? <laughs> so anyway, this compound is C4H8. We just have to find out the molecular mass. All right, so with any other molecular mass, right, we just list out all the different elements. In this case, we just have carbon and hydrogen. We're going to state how many of each we have, but that was the hard part. We just did the work. We said that we had four carbons and we had eight hydrogens. So four carbons, eight hydrogens. And now all we got to do is just multiply these numbers by the masses on the periodic table. Whenever you're trying to find a molecular mass or a molar mass, you go straight to the periodic table. But the thing is, there's basically going to be two numbers that you have to work through, right? You have to figure out which one is the mass number. Turns out that the decimal values are the atomic masses or the mass numbers. The whole numbers that you see here, this one and six, remember guys, that's the atomic number. That is not the mass. That's the atomic number, aka the number of protons. These are your mass numbers or your atomic mass. It, it doesn't matter what word you use. And since we're dealing with the very, very, very small scale, right, molecules, atoms, we're going to be dealing with AMU. So 1.008 AMU is the average mass of a hydrogen, and 12.01 AMU is the average mass of carbon. But I'm just going to multiply it by how many I have. So for carbon, it's 12.01 AMU. And then for hydrogen, it's at 1.008 AMU. And now, let's see what we got. So, looks like this is 4 times 12.01 is 48.04 AMU. Right? If I just do it on the calci. Yes, we're good with that. And then 8 times 1.008 AMU is 8.0. 064 AMU. And now if we want to find the molecular mass of the total compound, what do we have to do with these numbers? Yeah, you got it, right? We got to add them up. We got to find the total. When you find a total, you add up everything. So let's go for it. 8.064 plus 48.04. So I get a total molecular mass of 56.104 AMU. U, and that is your final answer. Not bad, guys. So 
Uh, collectively, 56.104 AMU is the molecular mass of butene, or C4H8. And that's it. Guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel. That would help us out. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. You guys rock. We are almost at 10,000 subscribers at the moment, which is unbelievable. It's crazy that, you know, 10, almost 10,000 of you guys would subscribe. That means a lot to me. Thank you so much from that. for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll see you guys in the next lesson. All right? I hope you guys have a great day. Let's keep studying hard. Bye-bye.